let me ask you something. Which country do you think emits the most greenhouse gases? The answer is China and the United States. Since 1850, the U.S. has released over 509 gigatons of carbon dioxide, making it the biggest historical polluter. China comes in second with 11%, followed by Russia at 7%. Even though China currently tops the charts for greenhouse gas emissions, it's also leading the way in renewable energy. Over the past two decades, China has massively expanded its renewable energy capacity, far outpacing the rest of the world. According to a 2023 report by the IEA, the world added about 507 gigawatts of renewable electricity capacity in 2023, a 50% jump from 2022. This global increase in renewable energy is largely thanks to China's booming solar PV and wind markets, which grew by 116% and 66%, respectively. Looking ahead, China is expected to triple its renewable electricity capacity over the next five years, making up 56% of global growth. In fact, from 2023 to 2028, China's renewable energy capacity will grow almost four times more than the European Union's and five times more than the US's. So while China is the biggest emitter of greenhouse gases, it's also the largest producer of clean energy. How did China plan to win the future of energy? That's exactly what we'll dive into in this video. But before we continue, make sure you hit that subscribe button to show your support. China's ambitious clean energy targets. When Xi Jinping started his speech at the UN General Assembly in September 2020, no one really expected him to make such a bold announcement. He said, We aim to have carbon dioxide emissions peak before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. This goal, now known as the Dual Carbon Goals, completely changed the way people see China's energy transformation. Xi's 2020 speech marked a shift in China's focus from simply aiming for low carbon to striving for carbon neutrality. This means moving from an energy sector that still relies on fossil fuels to one that leaves almost no room for coal, oil and gas once carbon neutrality is achieved. It was the first time President Xi talked about cutting emissions to net zero, setting a new standard for other large developing countries like India, where the idea of carbon neutrality is still in its early stages. For the past two decades, China has been known as the world's biggest emitter of greenhouse gases, burning as much heavily polluting coal as the rest of the world combined. So, the big question is, can China really become a carbon-free country? The rise of solar and wind power in China. Last November, Chinese climate envoy Ji Zhenhua and U.S. climate envoy John Kerry shook hands on a big promise to triple renewable energy globally by 2030. This was seen as a positive sign of renewed climate cooperation between the world's top two greenhouse gas emitters, giving hope that these experienced climate negotiators had found a way to push for more global action on climate change despite recent diplomatic tensions. Back in 2020, China promised to reach 1,200 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity by 2030, which was more than double what it had at the time. At its current pace, China is on track to hit that target by 2025 and could have around 1,000 gigawatts of solar power alone by the end of 2026. This would be a major contribution to the 11,000 gigawatts of installed renewable capacity the world needs to meet the 2030 goals of the Paris Agreement. Fossil fuels now make up less than half of China's total installed power capacity, a big drop from a decade ago when they accounted for two-thirds. In 2022, China installed almost as much solar power as the rest of the world combined, and in 2023, it doubled its new solar installations, increased new wind capacity by 66%, and nearly quadrupled 
its energy storage additions. Today, China leads the world in renewable energy. According to new data from Global Energy Monitor, China's total wind and solar power production is nearly double that of the rest of the world combined, enough to power all of South Korea. In 2023 alone, China added nearly twice as much utility-scale solar and wind power capacity as in any previous year. By the first quarter of 2024, China's total utility-scale solar and wind capacity reached 758 gigawatts, with the total, including distributed solar, hitting 1,120 gigawatts, according to the China Electricity Council. Wind and solar now make up 37% of China's total power capacity, an 8% increase from 2022, and are expected to surpass coal, which currently accounts for 39% in 2024. Looking ahead, if all the proposed utility-scale solar and wind projects come online as planned, China could easily reach 1,200 gigawatts of installed wind and solar capacity by the end of 2024, six years ahead of the goal set by President Xi Jinping. What are the obstacles? Even with all the progress in installing renewables, China still faces a big challenge. How to get its coal-centered grid to handle the massive surge in renewable energy and deliver that extra power to where it's needed. While power storage capacity is growing fast, China's grid still leans heavily on coal power to balance out the ups and downs of renewable energy, which casts a bit of a shadow on the achievements in wind and solar. For instance, in the plan for the second wave of mega wind and solar projects from 2021 to 2025, 30% of the proposed capacity is actually from coal power. This includes 28 gigawatts of new coal plants, with 10 gigawatts already under construction, according to GM's Global Coal Plant Tracker. These coal projects are being pushed forward under the banner of helping to manage the intermittency of wind and solar energy. Another challenge is getting the electricity where it needs to go. Most of the utility-scale solar and wind power is being built in the north and northwest regions of China, and it depends heavily on ultra-high voltage UHV transmission lines to send the power to demand centers in central, southern, and eastern China. Currently, 10 UHV transmission lines are either under construction or about to start, but this is not enough to keep up with the rapid increase in renewable power. Delays in finishing these transmission lines are also creating bottlenecks for wind and solar power. To make better use of its renewable energy, China has realized that power system reforms are long overdue. The National Development and Reform Commission recently announced plans to create a unified national power market by 2030. This would merge China's six regional grids into one nationwide electricity market to better manage supply and demand fluctuations. If this plan works out, China could not only strengthen its position as the global leader in renewable energy capacity, but also make better use of the clean energy it's producing. In conclusion, China has set some pretty ambitious clean energy goals and they're making serious progress. Do you think China will reach its goal of becoming carbon neutral by 2060? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to show your support.